with Jeff Snyder. What's the deal with Divergent and its seemingly unstoppable sequel, Insurgent? My throat already hurts from having this wannabe franchise starter shoved down at the past few months with a steady stream of images, teasers, trailers, posters, and God knows what else. Late Wednesday night, Summit announced that it had hired Robert Schwenke to direct the sequel, Insurgent, which is already scheduled for release in March 2015. I happen to like when a studio is so confident in a movie that it starts working on a sequel ahead of time, but not in this case. Uh, now, Divergent, which is based on a series of best-selling books by Veronica Roth, it's not exactly breaking the bank over at Summit. Uh, it probably costs somewhere in the vicinity of about $80 million. Uh, and it, it is going to make money, no doubt about that. But I really don't think it's going to come anywhere close to doing Hunger Games business. I mean, Hunger Games is the rare YA franchise that held crossover appeal. I am not the target demographic, but I paid to see both the Hunger Games movies and, and came away pretty entertained for the most part. You know, for, for once, a sequel lived up to and possibly surpassed the original. Now, Lionsgate and Summit have been down this divergent road before with Hunger Games director Gary Ross, who refused to rush a sequel into production in order to make an arbitrary release date. But the studio decided to stick to its accelerated release schedule, and they hired Francis Lawrence to direct Catching Fire. Lawrence is now sticking around to direct both the Mockingjay sequels. Now, like Robert Schwenke, Francis Lawrence is a bit of a journeyman director who was initially criticized for no good reason. You know, while he had yet to knock one out of the park, I was a fan of I Am Legend and even Water for Elephants. It was a defensible, uh, decision. Schwenke's, on the other hand, is not. I mean, only in Hollywood can you direct a flop as bad as R.I.P.D. and land a major tentpole assignment like Insurgent. The news broke at night when fewer uh, Divergent fans were on social media uh, to complain, which may have been a smart PR strategy uh, by Summit, but that was the studio's only smart move. R.I.P.D. lost more than $100 million and earned a 13% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes, where Schwenke's other movies uh, weigh in at 37% for The Time Traveler's Wife, 38% for Flight Plan. Now, both of those movies, they made money at the box office, which is likely Summit's primary goal uh, by choosing him. Uh, you know, they need to show their stockholders returns, and, and this franchise is supposed to be their next Hunger Games or Twilight. But Schwenke's only movie with a respectable Rotten Tomato score is Red at 71%. And while that movie was fun for what it was, it's hardly proof that, you know, he's he was deserving of such a high-profile gig like uh, Insurgent, though I admire the studio's loyalty. Uh, now, speaking of loyalty, Akiva Goldsman is currently rewriting Brian Duffield's script for Insurgent. Uh, Akiva is one of the town's most revered script doctors, but he's painfully out of touch, as the reviews of his upcoming directorial debut, A Winter's Tale, indicate. So Akiva won an Oscar for writing A Beautiful Mind, and, and deservedly so, although I loved In the Bedroom that year. But, you know, he also managed to take crackling page-turners like Dan Brown's Robert Langdon books, The Da Vinci Code, and Angels and Demons, and turn them into these lead-footed movies with both pacing and plotting problems. You know, as much as I love the class, Client, uh, which is another adaptation, Lost in Space and Batman and Robin, those are two of the worst movies of all time. And now Insurgent is in the hands of Akiva Goldsman and Robert Schwenke? You know, sorry if I don't have more faith or, or general enthusiasm. You know, to be honest, I never really saw the appeal of Divergent, uh, although I admit I am in the minority there. The movie is set in dystopian Chicago, which has been divided into five factions. The selfless, the peaceful, the honest, the brave, and the knowledgeable. Uh, and all 16-year-olds are given aptitude tests to tell them which faction they're best suited to. And poor Tris Pryor... Her test results are inconclusive. That's the sort of jumping off point for the movie, which stars uh, Shailene Woodley and Theo James and Kate Winslet. You know, what, what, what I do know is that there are a lot of talented directors who would have given an arm and a leg to direct the Divergent sequel. And Summit, frankly, made a lazy, uninspired choice from their own backyard. They picked a yes man who, whose movies they have displayed no real authorship or voice. I mean, I, I just figured that the studio would have gone bigger and better, you know, if the first film was truly all it's cracked up to be. I don't know the particulars of the deal, but was nobody else available? Um, one thing that you can count on is Disney finding a new director for its Coast Guard drama, uh, The Finest Hours, which Schwenke had been attached to direct. Uh, I'm sure that they will be moving on since he's going to be busy for the foreseeable future. Summit will release Divergent in theaters on March 21st. I think I'll probably stay in and enjoy a Hunger Games doubleheader that day. This has been What's the Deal with Jeff Snyder. You can follow me on Twitter at, at TheInSnyder, and thanks for reading TheWrap.com. What's the deal with Jeff Snyder?